In this video, we're going to talk about Breach, Thousand Year Blood War, Episode 10. Oh, napanood nyo na. Hmm. Anyway, keep on watching. Probably one of the, um, one of the heaviest episodes of Bleach I've ever watched. Okay? Ako, inaamin mo guys. Uh, I am a Bleach fan. Pero, grabe. Grabe ang contrast in, um, in, uh, contrast of emotions, so to speak. Pero, let's not get ahead of ourselves, guys. Don't worry. Explain natin yan. But first order of business is the thumbnail. Ichigo uh, started to get pissed off at ano rito eh, uh, at si Oetsu, okay? oh, whom they call the Plague God of Squad Zero. Ito yung, uh, ito yung uh, magre-repair sana kay Sangetsu, yung kanyang, uh, yung kanyang go-to na espada. Eh, kaya siya na pissed off dito dahil um, Oetsu deemed him a failure for his first test. Well, well, he tried really hard. He, he is a bloody mess after all. So yeah, um, Ichigo or any real life person, for that matter, would be an idiot who decided to be sila mapi piss off sa ganun. It's quite relatable. And yeah, you you would exactly feel for Ichigo here. Okay. So with that put aside, let's get to the nitty gritty of this episode. Pace overall. I got no complaints about the pacing of this episode, guys. Talagang, uh, it's a it's a sharp contrast in uh, sentiments or emotions because in one uh, in one aspect, nanalo si Kenpachi, right? Uh, finally, he beats Unohana, yung kanyang kinukonsider na mentor at idol. On the other hand naman, uh, Ichigo fails uh, Oetsu's first test. It went from, uh, call this, from all-time high feels to excruciating feels with uh, with Ichigo's failure. So I got the complaints, guys. Right, the pacing was fast when it needed to be, and it was slow when it needed to be. Ramdam mo yung uh, ramdam mo yung ano yung mga in this episode because of the pacing, okay? The pacing was a great, uh, what do you call this? Uh, a great facilitator in, uh, in eliciting uh, emotions from the viewer. Okay? No complaints. Again, guys. Flow naman! First gear shift was when, um, what do you call this? Was when Unohana uh, decided to uh, to use her Bankai against, uh, against Kenpachi. For me, that's a gear shift. Bakit? Kasi dito talaga nakising si... In a way, si Kenpachi. Para mang all out sa kanya. But uh, we just... Yeah, we lost another good character. <laughs> Ingana in the process. Final gear shift was... Well, no-brainer. Another no-brainer. Ichigo fails uh, Oetsu's first test. Dito po, dito nyo talaga mararamdaman yung ano eh, yung, uh, yung frustration ni Ichigo. And he wanted so desperately to have his, uh, to have his, uh, to have his son back to fix, only to, uh, only for Oetsu to tell him na, no, you're not a true soul reaper, so I am not going to fix your sword. Aray. Probably, this is Ichigo's, um, for me, his biggest failure so far, and okay, it's the type of gearship that will wow, okay, simply wow, will, uh, will make you feel for the um, make you feel for the main protag. Okay, we got it, all right. It was a really heavy gearship, probably the heaviest gearship we'll see in this reunion season of Bleach. So these three gearships that I saw. Well, total, yung, uh, we saw two different stories in this uh, in, in this episode. But niya na panawarin ang tatlong gearship nato. But whoa, hey, uh, if you're a Bleach fan like me, why why only why why limit yourself to just these three scenes? You you totally uh, you totally 
we miss out on the, on, on the rest of the episode? Ano mga nangyari? Alright? So, kung medyo tinatamad kayo mulod na mulod na anime sa araw na yun, but just watch these three dishes. Pero, again, if you are a true blue bleach fan, you would write up this entire episode. Okay? Para ma-feed nyo lalo ang uh, ang what you call this? Yung frustration ng main protag dito sa episode na to. Likes. Need I say more? Planchado ang plot, guys! Obviously, it's a well ironed out plot. It was ironed out, ironed out enough to elicit those emotions of frustration. Alright? Because uh, we're at an all-time high. Uh, yeah, you would, uh, you would, uh, you would totally root for Kenpachi. Because uh, ito lang ang stumbling block niya eh, para uh, para ma-recognize siya ng whole soul society as the real, as the true Kenpachi. Eh, kung maga parang pasi ka to torch na rin ito eh. So yeah, uh, you you feel you feel really good for Kenpachi. Pero at the same time, naman, uh, napuno niya yung post-credit scene. Well, Ichigo fails. Probably the biggest failure, uh, the promise, the biggest failure he's ever had in this anime. So biglang from all time high, biglang <laughs> sakit sa damdamin yun na. <laughs> That's one of the benefits you would get from a well ironed out plot. Alright? Yeah, I finally found the term for it. An emotional roller coaster ride. And you can only achieve that through a well ironed out plot. With perfection. So, face flow and plot. They all sit the game together for this episode, folks. There go. Wow! Alright? And I thought his um, uh, what you call this? The stalemate between him and Yuak was uh, uh, was was uh, was really frustrating. So, Reach Thousand Year God War, episode ten, no brainer. He <laughs> got right, lalo na yung. Uh, yung last gear shift dito ah. grabe yun uh, I really I really felt uh, I really felt Ichigo's frustration right there talagang uh, he was he was actually he was you, you could tell he was exactly hell bent on, on on passing through on passing the test of all five members of, of Squad Zero para lang uh, just for the sake of having his son get to repair so what's in store for our main road tag? Well, uh, if you uh, if you got an inkling now of uh, what the next episode will be, don't you wanna make spoiling? Ano po mga fan We're we're anime only here. Sure. So let's just wait for the next episode and watch the next review.